I think in my mind is that the grassroots grassroot movements in terms of evaluating one's own health through metabolic parameters, through getting knowledge from conferences like Low Carb Denver, from gathering some of this information has leveled the playing field between physicians and consumers of medicine. And so I think it's the grassroots movement that's going to change our paradigm in terms of what is important for our cardiac health, and it's going to protect people like me. And that grassroots movements would be focused on insulin resistance, would be focused on inflammation, would be focused on lipoprotein quality, and not necessarily what your LDL level is. Because just in my mind right now, I can recall a hundred patients that I have who have an LDL level above 250, who have maintained a calcium score of zero over the last three years. I can look at many people who have a high LDL level in their 250s untreated, who have not had a cardiac event in the last decade. So there are so many variables that we don't understand, but we are in a much better place now than we were even 10 years ago. And I think that this paradigm is going to get more refined and better as more and more research happens in this field. So PCSK9 is a protein that the liver makes. And among one of its roles is to go and bind to an LDL receptor. Now we're getting a little geeky, but it's pretty straightforward. The liver has LDL receptors that are sucking up the LDL, the so-called bad cholesterol. And I call it, I call LDL the other good cholesterol. But basically, the PCSK9 comes in and binds to the receptor that is sucking up the LDL from circulation in the liver and it destroys the receptor. So once it destroys the receptor, the LDL remains in circulation and the LDL is higher. And LDL being high does not go with a paradigm that high LDL causes heart disease and hence you need to reduce the LDL. And that's the advent of the PCSK9 inhibitors because what PCSK9 inhibitors do is that they remove PCSK9 from circulation the LDL receptor gets overexpressed. The LDL cholesterol is removed from circulation and everybody's happy thinking that they have done something very good. But let's examine this a little further. There are animal studies done in which you do exactly what the PCSK9 inhibitors do. And if you look at this group of animals, they are at higher risk of becoming diabetic they are at higher risk of getting visceral obesity. That means the kind of obesity in which there is fat in your liver, there is fat in your pancreas, basically abdominal obesity. And you have even higher fat depositions in your heart. 